So today I will teach you how to take a screenshot. Doesn't matter if you have a folding phone, doesn't matter if you have an S25 Ultra or Note 20 or a very, very old phone. Today I'm going to teach you majority all the methods to take a screenshot from the easiest to the hardest to the use, most useful and then that's it if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do so because i could give you so many new features and tricks and tips about your samsung galaxy phone and if you find this video useful share it to someone maybe they don't even know how to do a screenshot so let's get started how do we take a screenshot so first of all let's just say this is your phone this is S25 Ultra. If you want to take a screenshot, it's super easy right now. All you have to do is, you just press the side button right there. Okay, so this is the side button. This is the phone down, press together, and you're able to take a screenshot. This is the most easiest way to take a screenshot. Now, let's just say I want to take a screenshot. This little partial right there i don't want to take whole screen screenshot i only want to take this little partial right there all you have to do is you go from the side right there and then you can see there's like this ai select when you press the ai select you can circle wherever part you want to take a screenshot and now you can actually press download right there and now you're already taking a screenshot, just that little part right there. However, if you actually want to just share right away without saving in a gallery, you can actually just go like this, like say circle, and you press share right away. And now when you press share right away, you can actually share and you can see the top, they will delete after sharing. So you don't have to save this image in your gallery already because you just only want to share to your friend and then that's it. Pretty, pretty simple. So you can do this in a simple way. You can select whatever you want and then they will just delete right away for you. So what if I tell you, you can actually add a button at the bottom right here and then tap that you take a screenshot already how do we do this so you actually can go to a good lock you go to the next star and then now you want to go into new button layout add button and then you can see screen capture right there you tap this you can see it's on the top so you can place it wherever you want, wherever you feel is convenient. I usually put it in the middle. You press done. You press save. Now you have to select what you just did. So I select this. Now you see the button has changed. Okay, even I close this, the button has changed. Now if I want to take a screenshot, I just tap this. Now it has taken a screenshot. So what if the side button, okay, you pull out, you can take a screenshot. How do you do that? So let's just say we're going to go back to our good friend, good luck. Now we're going to go one hand operational plus right there. Now let's just say we're going to go to from the left handle. So we're going to left handle. We're going to go straight out, not up, down, but we go straight out. So we're going to go direct straight right. And now you can actually look for screenshot. Okay, you can see screenshot right there. Now it's changed. Now when you go like this, it has taken a screenshot just like that. So let's just say you have a website, all right? And there's two different tricks right here. First of all, let's just say this is a website. You just quickly do a screenshot just like that, okay? Now, if you go back to your gallery, let's just say after a few hours later, you go back to your gallery. And when you go back to your gallery, you might already see your image that you just took a screenshot. And then you might see this screenshot right there. So the first trick is, if you look closely, there's like this thing called go to website. You press that, now you will go back to the original website. We're talking about after a couple hours later, you want to look at the same article and you don't have time at that time. Now five hours later, you have this type of time to read the article. Yeah, you know, if you go to your gallery, they have this thing called go to website. Just go to that website and then you can go back to your website and keep reading. The second trick is on the Samsung Galaxy phone, on your Samsung gallery, you take a screenshot. 
you can press the arrow you see the arrow right there so you can actually say oh I just want to stop there but now you can see your article okay whatever you want to stop sometimes you don't want to do the whole website full page you just want to read the small article and then that's it now you can actually do that just present the arrow and then that's it pretty simple hey pretty cool so there is actually another screenshot inside the gallery so let's just say this is your photos and you want to zoom in okay you want your photo to be like this and did you see the bottom right there you press this now it has become another type of photos because you want to zoom in right and now you can see they already took a screenshot of a photo pretty cool huh and the image is actually not too bad it's actually 1.12 megabyte so it's actually high quality screenshot even though you took a screenshot of a picture that you took and very last features are bonus features let's just say you're going to go into this little google and let's just say we are going to be searching a flight tickets okay and you can see there's like flight tickets the flight price whatsoever right let's just say this is the number that i want to cap i want to take a look at this first all i can do is i can actually ai select it circle okay and you can see there's a pin right there pin you can pin this so you can see the price is up there now you can do the comparison let's just say i want to change the date i want to change something else like that okay so something like that okay now this price has changed because i changed the date you can do your comparison because it's already pinned you see this it's already pinned up here right so you can do your comparison with this to this it's like whoa go to hong kong is 778 dollars compared to $1,035 and this is within this time that's pretty awesome right so you can do the comparison so you don't have to take a screenshot you don't have to go back and forth you can just compare the price just like that when you're done okay you can press the cross tap it press the cross and then that's it that's pretty amazing right so these are the so these are the tricks how you take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy phone. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I hope this helped you a little bit. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace out.